So we're finally back on Aurora Shores today here in Wave the Hunter, and of course the goal is simple. We are trying to pass as much time as possible, see if we can age up our now three rares that we found on this map, two Melodistic Bull Moose and an Albino Bull Bison, and in the meantime, attempt to manage our herds and see if we can get any trophies in the process. I've kind of been waiting for this opportunity, I've got a lot of time today, so hopefully we can pass one if not more age cycles, and we'll see if we can find anything good out here on our map while we wait. And we don't have to go far to at least begin the process of managing some of our herds. Got a one-star adult there, but a notably weak one-star adult? I mean, our melanistic one-star, his first year of adulthood was considerably bigger than that. And just looking at this, that's older than, say, like a first-year adult. He's nearly mature based on how gray he is. I don't think that punched through to a lung. So we've got the Remington 700 long range. Second shot, I think, got him in the spine. There was a ton of blood, but that will help with those genetics. And I think there is a big bull around here somewhere. The problem with this herd... Oh, that's him. That looks... Has an age cycle happened? Because that's bigger than I remember it being. Hold on. Can we get a spot? He's a four star. Not super great himself. Gonna have to kind of pay attention because I didn't think he was that big. Anyway, we've killed a five star from here before. And that's actually what I was saying. This herd like runs sideways and stuff. There's just something wrong with the ground here or maybe just that herd of moose where sometimes they're just standing here, but they're darn near prone. And they're hard to actually spot if they're behind any kind of hill. As for this guy, though, a little bigger than I thought, at least on that left side, but even still, notably uneven and weaker genetics. First shot, we impacted the neck, which is kind of what I was going for. Just not with enough energy to bring him down. Second shot was indeed in the spine. And I guess the neck spine and the vertebrae in the back all kind of count as the same organ. So the additional damage is why he immediately dropped. 60% or so, considering that we've had at least one 90 plus, I think two from that spot. I think taking out a 60% or actually helps us in this area. So naturally, I decided to just jump down here and take a peek at our Melanistic. He is a two star adult. And wow, at that angle, he does look really good. He's got that like triple brow tine thing going on. I really think he's going to make it. However, to explain the confusion about the age cycle and trying to figure out what's going on by taking a look at our Melanistic, I actually attempted to record this video for about an hour earlier, and then just out of nowhere, my PC black screened and corrupted the file. So I have been on the map actually doing some management, shot a bunch of one star matures so you didn't miss anything, but uh, that was why I thought that four star mature moose looked bigger. I had just seen him like an hour ago. Maybe it was the angle, because I don't think aging has happened. Our Melanistic did look to be the same size. Oh, speaking of Melanistics, we have a Melanistic Caribou. It is a female, but that's our first one on the live game. We got one in the development branch. That is pretty cool. And imagine that. We just fast traveled right to it. Uh, female Caribou, even though they do have antlers, they don't grow as they age. So there's really no benefit to leaving this go. I do have the 270 monoblock today. And even though I trusted that range on a caribou, I think we're going to try to get a little bit closer. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. Ooh, got a three-star mature in there as well. It's only 10 a.m. They shouldn't be moving to their drink zone just yet. But at 300 yards, I feel pretty good about our chances of making that shot. Actually, that male just stopped to feed. I think the Melanistic did too. Let's scoot to the side. Got a shot window in through there. I see a whole bunch of blood. And I don't think she's going far at all. So, I actually... Oh no, there definitely is. There is a multi-mount with a female caribou in it. And we may have to rearrange our lodge just a little bit. We have the two five stars from back when we were doing that grind. I think the only mounts are one male and one female, so we'll maybe move stuff. But that's definitely going in the lodge. Bit of a tough track, by the way. I can't quite figure out where she went. But I just wanted to quickly touch on the fact that it's so cool you can actually find blood on the trees. That was how I spotted that particular bit. And, you know, admittedly, 
I kind of took the approach of running over here and trying to claim her as opposed to watching where she went. I think maybe she looped around here though. That would be what happened. And she wasn't far at all from that last lot of blood, so we definitely need to try to get a photo. Might not look too bad here. We've had better areas, but certainly could be a whole lot worse. I'm gonna say that will be good enough. I'd like to not have the obstructions of the trees and the grass, but it kind of just is what it is. But as for our first Melanus to Caribou in the live game, double longed at 289 yards. Kind of perfect she was sort of quartering away and looking the other direction really opened up that chest cavity nicely. And that shot being far back in the lungs I think is what helped it go straight through, even hitting the right lung with nearly the required ener energy anyway. So that was a young, no surprise, as it probably just spawned. But antler-wise, it's going to look exactly the same, so we're going to tax that. And I think at some stage, we'll go back to the lodge and take a look. So now you got to wonder, if I didn't have the video corrupt earlier, would I ever have come over here and found that? Maybe not. So not very often do we do any kind of red fox management, but it's actually what I really want a 5-star of, either from here or Nez Perce. And the problem is we never shoot any, so... There's two one-star matures. Actually, it'll be easier to shoot this one first. Reason being, we can much more quickly get on target for that one and know we're shooting the right one. So both of those, obviously, are subpar genetic males. Got a couple of elk up here running around. We are considerably north of the other two rares on our map, the smaller melanistic moose and the albino bison. I'm not so sure we need to go and check in on either of those. I mean, we can, but I just wanted to come up here and kind of go to some other areas, waiting for a caribou drink time to start. We're just kind of at the very edge of it now, being past 10.30. 11 is when it starts, but 10.30 they'll start to move into their zones. So a 52%er for that guy. And then this one, maybe even a little bit grayer colored. A little bit far back, but it got him 46%. So hopefully that kind of helps out. And I guess we'll wander down that way, maybe see if we can get eyes on him and do some management in the process. Well, that's pretty darn cool. Got our albino bison right up on top of the hill here. Just for a second, we got to see him do that. They're all alerted. And he just came walking up here. I kind of went in this direction. Mostly because we can see both of our rares from here. Now, our melanistic moose, he's hiding over there behind the trees. We can see him there. Still pretty small as a one-star young. Though, as we talked about last time, he evened out a little bit. So maybe there's still hope for him. I don't think we're going to bother with these elk, we'll probably leave them alone. There is a herd of caribou in the area, but I don't see them this run. There is actually no way. This caribou made it to 5 star? So I came over here, and there's a 1 star adult. I was looking for like a 1 star young, I thought he was going to be dead. I hit the antler rattler, and he just comes walking out of the brush. I figured there had to be something back there. I'm not sure if that's the same rack as our other two. There's two different 5-star racks. And I actually can't remember which this would be. I think it's the same. Look at that. So we're going to try to get him with the 270. I think we'll actually let him go broadside, like basically attempt to leave the call. And as soon as he does that, hopefully we can be ready to get a broadside shot in there. So he's responding there. I think this is the moment we're waiting for and maybe his antlers aren't going to clip through the ground we could really get a good photo here so he's going to dive out of the stand who needs ankles anyway what are the odds we came here to try to age up you know looking for this frankly while we're trying to age our rares five star caribou is the one thing I want the most but we got a melanistic female wanting to move things around in the lodge for that and what the heck, we just killed them in the same hunt. We'll put them together, the 5-star and the melanistic, from this hunt today. So what do the antlers look like here? Yeah, I mean, kind of sucks there's some brush there. But at least the antlers are completely visible. Not our best photo. Probably our best, though, by far. At least for a male caribou. Our third 5-star ever. That worked perfectly, too. He turned away... Gave us that double long shot opportunity. The 270 strikes again on a trophy caribou today. 90%. I just didn't think this one had it in him. He is a 470 on the nose. So we're going to go ahead and tax that. This was one, you know, we watched him as a 3 star and I thought he was too great then. 
And just to check, caribou are 460, right? For the actual requirement? They are, so he's actually a decent sized one. And at this stage, we might as well jump back to the lodge and put that multi-mount together. So this is the spot I'm thinking of. We've got these two elk fighting here, but they're such common five stars anyway. I think it's going to be all good to move those out of here and instead do, I think this one here. That'll be one male and one female caribou. And we've got a five star from today and a melanistic from today that we can put into that spot. That's wild. I love multi-mounts like this too, where we can complete the entire thing in a singular hunt because it makes so much sense to keep those two animals together. And then just to compare, I think that's the same frame as our other two, which is as far as I can tell the more typical one. Actually, the other five star rack, now that I'm thinking of it, is way more like vertical and there's a little bit less mass to it. I do want one of those, but now three five star caribou and obviously you're watching this, so it hasn't been corrupted, but Every time we kill something cool after having that video corrupted earlier, I am stopping the recording so that we can't possibly lose it. And now that we've got our two old five-star elk in their new spots here, next to, I think, maybe a four-star caribou, we can head back out and continue this. It's already going super well. Maybe we can even find something else. That's... I can't believe that we got both of those in the same hunt. You know, now I do think aging happened. When we initially saw this guy and I thought he looked bigger than before, considering that caribou was a five star, that almost has to be the case because I'm, I'm certain I would have checked on that in the last video. And seeing these brow times too, I don't think he had those. So I guess this entire time, we've just had an A cycle occur and I didn't even know it. And it's been pretty fruitful for us. Now getting a melanistic and a five star. So that moose might have a chance, but like I said, for whatever reason, they stand there like that. If he ever gets a five star, trying to make that shot, I mean, maybe a heart shot up through there. Could be kind of interesting. He looks good, though. So as we kind of just move around here, we've got a one star mature bison in an area that I think at least has good enough bison genetics that it's worth trying to take him out. Can we get a shot? I think that's the crease in the shoulder there. Well, that dropped him, so that will certainly do the trick. But we're kind of up here in the north, and I believe we had some decent caribou in this area. So just kind of swing it up through to check on them, and might as well take out this bison as well. We've had a couple of four stars up here. I don't think any of them ever made five, and they were actually a little bit west of our position now, but I would imagine this is still something we want to take out. And no doubt being a one star mature, and I think being fairly gray, this guy has pretty subpar genes, and getting him should do us a pretty good favor. So that was just a double lung drop shot. 35%, that's about as low a genetic potential bison as we've seen in a while. So hopefully the future ones look a little better in this area. So kind of an interesting decision here. We've got a bunch of caribou out there, including what looks to be a pretty small one-star adult, and then what is definitely a subpar one-star adult Alaska moose. Even though we just shot a five-star caribou today, I definitely want to get more of them. And I feel better about where our moose genetics are. So I think we take this guy, and depending on what this moose does, never really happens when we want it to. Sometimes they'll can't kind of stand around and sort of almost like look back over their shoulder after a shot. Not in this case, and especially using the 270, I don't think a shot on the run is the move. Also, we got a huge lag spike there. I've been getting those with Way the Hunter once every like 15 minutes. I don't know if it's something loading in or what, but I don't know what that did to the footage just a minute ago. 26% though. I feel like we made the right call. And, you know, we talk about this a lot with Aurora Shores. There is no area of private land, so there's not one spot to really focus on trying to manage your caribou. You gotta do it everywhere. And that's a spot we don't go to very much. We actually spawned at the little parking lot down here, went north. I don't even know that most hunts we even see that herd, but in this case, we did and got to take out a really weak genetic male. You know, we come here a lot, and I've never seen so many animals at this lake. There's a bunch of bison. We've got a random elk down here, a two-star mature. And then our caribou have been using this lake kind of as a bathtub lately. For whatever reason, they're just hanging out under the water most times. I'm actually not so sure any of these are obvious call animals. Maybe that young, but I think... Ah, maybe he's not even. 
looking at everything else, I want to get a better look at him. Yeah, he is uneven, so let's take that. The elk's in a spot that I really don't expect to get a 5 star, so I'm not sure we need to worry about managing in this area as much. And the bison are kind of in that same situation. I haven't seen any big bison up in this area. I believe this is secondary habitat. So... Ooh, I was kind of trusting the 270 to do enough damage to the spine there, and it did not. And if we wanted to... Wait. Oh, that guy is even. If we wanted to, we could take another one, but... We're not going to do that. That is a thing. <laughs> I, <laughs> I haven't seen them float like that before. I guess that probably would be realistic. Looks pretty strange though, I gotta say. I mean, when it's not at a distance, it looks pretty much normal. So that was a, wow, 21%er. That was an adult? I thought we spotted him as a young. Probably just... Saw how small the rack was and assumed. That certainly helps. And that, by the way, is the herd that we got our first five-star caribou out of. And speaking of, despite the fact that we've already gone back to the lodge, I think that is going to be our last kill. So we'll quickly run by our little multi-mount here again. Still cannot believe that we actually had that happen in the same hunt. That multi-mount will, will forever exist, knowing that we had both of these probably less than, like, 20-30 minutes apart and it fits so well too one advantage I guess of the female caribou not getting any bigger from young to adult to mature it can be placed just perfectly so the antlers don't actually clip through each other really really cool super glad to have gotten our third five star caribou and we saw some aging happen today our melanistic moose is a two star adult now looking forward to seeing what he becomes and man that one look we got at him when he looked at us, he looks huge. I really think we might have something. But anyway, that'll do it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.